and welcome to this video. My name is Manya and today I'll be sharing a home decor haul, a vintage home decor haul of things that I thrifted. You can watch the thrift with me of last week's video. I'm gonna link that in the info box down below so you can watch it right after this video if you haven't seen it yet. There is not a lot of things to say. I'm gonna jump right into the haul. I filmed that portion of the haul last week so I'm wearing a different outfit so just saying so you are not confused and you know why. First off I'm actually going to show you two things that I did not purchase at those stores. I went to another store that week but I didn't film or anything. I just popped in, got some stuff and got right back out and those two things are both ceramics. First one is just this little dish I found. It's very simple. It's speckled pottery and it has this brown ring and it was only 49 cents and I got that for my kitchen as a ring dish so when I'm baking or cooking and I need to take off my wedding band and the other rings that I'm wearing I can just put them in here. And the next mug, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this because I posted it in my stories a couple weeks ago and I went back and got it, is this amazing 60s or 70s mug that is um, West, made in West Germany pottery. It is by a brand called Wächtersbach and it has this really cool poppy and brown tones on it and it was two euros 99 that's why I didn't get it in the first place because I thought that was kind of expensive but then I don't come across those kinds of 70s 60s mugs a lot here for some reason so I just went back and got it. Now into the actual hauls of the stores that I went to and showed you in the video. The first store, the first thing I found I actually found two of them. I'm gonna show you the other one in a second. Is this adorable planter and um, it has a hole in here for drainage. So it came with a matching little, I don't know what you call it, like a little bowl saucer thing, I don't know. Probably has a specific name, I have no idea. It was one euro and has a really cool plant on here. The second flower pot, which is very, very similar to the first one, it also has a drainage hole and also has one of those little things to put underneath. Uh, also a euro is speckled and has a brown rim just like the other one and the flowers have this rusty orange color. Then I got this little wooden, oh it actually has something, or is it wooden or paper mache? I have no idea. But I got this, feels like wood. I got this little box. That one I'm actually gonna give to my daughter so she can put her little necklaces and stuff in there. It was only one euro, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna be very excited about it because it has a flower on it and it has glitters, so pretty much all the things that she likes. Then I also got this little shallow basket and that one I'm gonna use for now to put our keys in there. I'm actually looking for a key holder as well that I can mount on the wall but I haven't found one so I got this one instead. For now this one was only 50 cents. I got these two botanical illustrations and if you've been following me for a little bit you might know that I really like botanical illustrations and these were 150 a piece technically but one of them I got for free and honestly I don't even know which one because the guy at the store says oh look the frame is not in that great condition anymore so if you want you can have this one for free or we're just gonna throw it away and I said no no just give it to me for free I'll take it and yeah really cool there are two uh, illustrations one's of endive the salad and the other one is I have no idea what it is in English in German it says it's Beerenklau and I might actually put these up in my kitchen. I found a paper towel roll holder. It's vintage, it's amazing, it's very industrial looking with the metals. So even my husband liked it because he likes industrial and it is so cool and it's not even for kitchen towels. You can also put your aluminum foil and your um, other cling foil in there and you can put even stuff on here. So I might just hang some cups a couple of cups here or something I don't know I'm just so excited and it is amazing and if you watch my thrift wish list you would know that this was on there and I did not expect to find this so soon you will not believe how much this was one euro this was only one euro and it's amazing I'm gonna put it up in my kitchen this week and just so cool oh wait now I understand, I told you guys that the guy gave me the picture for free that was not in so good condition, but I just realized something and I didn't even realize it. I showed you the two pictures, but there is a third one. So I think that's the one that's just a little bit dinged here, but you can hardly see it. 
Now I get it, and he just threw this one in for free, and I think they probably had it in the back because I didn't see it hanging there. Ah, okay. Another thing I found is this little decanter, which you can probably use the best for evaporated milk when you have some coffee. This was 50 cents. It is not marked. It has a really cool color scheme though. It's just this warm, neutral kind of caramel color. And for 50 cents, I really just wanted it. And I mean, if I don't use it as a decanter, I could also use this as a small planter. Now let's move on to the second store and I picked up one thing for my older daughter there. Well, technically two things, but they belong together. And they are vintage editions of the Mary Poppins books. This one is just the first one and this one is Mary Poppins Returns in German. She can't read yet. She's five, but she really, really wants to learn how to read. And I know that when she does, she's going to read all the books. And I actually got these for free at the store. Then I actually picked up something more Christmassy and it's technically a tablecloth, I think. But I'm gonna wash this and we'll use this to make face masks. So have some kind of really nice face masks to bring me through the Christmas time during a pandemic. I found one of the most looked for planter plant stands when it comes to boho 60s, 70s interior design. And it is a little peacock chair and it had in the store the most scary harlequin figure sitting on it so i had to remove that first in order to get to this and i'm not sure how much i paid for it because it wasn't priced and i did no, do know i paid either one or two euros for it as you know i like vintage west german pottery from the 60s and 70s there are a couple of brands that i still want to find stuff from but i can now cross one of the brands off my list and that one is by or in English you would say Bay. It's one of the most famous ones and I found this really cool vase by them. It is a number 7425 by Bay or Bay and it has this this one is not glazed, this part, which gives it a rough texture, and this is glazed and has a really cool leaf pattern. And I've been looking for some vases that are not just brown, but have some really cool elements to them, and I think that this one ticked all the boxes. Then I found something that is actually probably gonna be in storage until spring, and it's this really, really tiny vase. It's this bowl-shaped, or not bowl, this, um, balloon yes balloon shaped vase and it has a very small opening so you'd only be able to put a couple flowers in there they have some flowers on it a floral design and it's speckled pottery and this one only cost me one euro i also found this vase which kind of looks like it came out of a laboratory i actually have one of these bigger one and this one i'm gonna use to propagate my devil's ivy which has been getting so long i really need to cut off some pieces and parts and just Make some little other plant babies. I paid one euro for this and yeah, this one is really, really nice. I actually found another flower pot and it may be something that you might not like or find ugly, cause it's definitely not perfect. And it is this a little, very neutral colored, warm neutral colored flower pot that has this drip effect here. And it was definitely, definitely handmade by someone that was not a professional because it is kind of lopsided. I thought it had some character to it and it was only one euro and fits perfectly with the colors in my home. So I just thought, why not just get it? I completely forgot to show this beautiful 70s candle holder made in West Germany that I also got during the same thrift trip. It was made by a company called Steuler. It is so pretty and only cost me one euro 50, including the candle. If you like Thrift With Me's, make sure to check out my playlist here on the side and also the other video here. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do because I post new content about thrifting and secondhand finds every week. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.